Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Simply Brianna if you are new here. If you are not new here, welcome back. You are greatly appreciated and loved. Today I will be talking to you about my weight loss journey. Just so you know, I am 5'10". I'm not going to talk about my weight. We're not going to go there. I have lost 50 pounds so it's been about 7-8 months now. So today I will just give you kind of like a rundown of things that I live about, live by live by also while doing my foundation because you know or my face because i just i don't like just talking and not doing anything not doing anything so you know decided i do that anyways i hope you enjoy it let me know if because i don't i feel like i may have done this wrong because i feel like it may just it may not go well i feel like it may feel like a little disorganized you know like i try to organize it but i feel like it may be too much going on so if it is you know just let me know Appreciate the criticism, constructive criticism. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking and we're just going to get on into the video. All right, so as you can see, my eyes were done. And that's because this video isn't really necessarily on the makeup. It's mostly me kind of doing my makeup as I make the video, but as I'm doing the products, I will tell you about them. Go into detail because you're here to learn. So why might as well throw in some facts that you don't even have to look at yourself. Okay, okay. This will require some reading, just so you know. So if it sounds like I'm reading off a script for parts of it, it's because I am. Because I don't know these facts by memory. I don't, okay, okay. So first I'm gonna start off with primer. And this is the Benefit Professional Primer. It comes in three different sizes at Sephora, if you didn't know. The first one is the mini size, which is 25 ounces for $12. Bring you information that you didn't know that you needed, okay? And then the next size up is a standard size and at 75 ounces or 0 0.75 ounces. The other one was 0.25 ounces. And that is for $31, so yeah, that's a standard size. And then the next one up is the value size, which is 1.5 ounces, fluid ounces, or not fluid ounces, because no, no, it's not fluid. It's like a, it's like a consistency. <laughs> it's like a thick consistency. And that is $49 for those who truly love it. And it's, it's claims are to minimize pores and fine lines, as well as mattify shine. So first, I'm going to start off by saying I do have very oily skin, so my pores is to get really high. Hi. So, you know, they look really big, and that's why I do like this. I've been using the mini sizes, like the, the little sample sizes, because I send out a lot. And I don't have to buy it if I already have a sample size, so. And then I also start right here in the middle. I'm sweeping outward because that's the way that my pores grow, I guess would be the term. And that's where my pores are the worst and as well as going up here that's where it's the worst and this is the area where it really really truly like see really oily and now i'm just going to color correct i'm not going to say what it is because it's lipstick but because my color correct went mia or no it's empty so you know and i haven't made it to buying a new one but if you really want to know, it's NYX Slip Tease Lip Oil. If you're really concerned, and I'm just applying this to the areas of my face that are the most dark. I am a little bit darker along my mouth area and under my eyes, so that's why I applied it there. I'm going to take some Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion, Primer Potion, and I'm going to apply this to my lap lines. I heard that it works in keeping them from creasing. And then one's out. I'm gonna. Okay, so we're now going into the weight loss. How are you guys doing, first and foremost? You guys are doing great. For the weight loss, the first step that I have when it comes to losing weight is drinking a lot of water. Like, I know people say it, and people hate water. People hate it. I used to hate it too. But, like, it's just. You get used to it, you grow, you grow to it. I try to get about a gallon of water a day. If you don't have to always pee, you don't drink enough water, okay? Another th great thing about water is that it helps reduce your appetite, so you're not always constantly wanting to eat, even though you, like, if you're like me, you still probably will. 
it also ever so slightly raises your metabolism now i will say that that is the one thing i would not depend on don't be like i'm gonna drink out of water and then you see horribly and then you're confused why you're not losing any weight you're gonna be mad that you gained weight it also keeps you hydrated so you know you're not dehydrated you know because when you're dehydrated you start holding in water weight especially when you consume a lot of sodium so when you drink a bunch of water it becomes a diuric and it starts to flush out those fluids and then it like takes away the bloating and the your face bloating too I guess it's still in the bloating category but so now for the next step of my foundation I'm just gonna go back and forth it's gonna be like every other every other step so as I'm doing the step I'm gonna be talking to you guys about it so I will be going in with my Maybelline fit me foundation this is the matte and poreless and this is in 340 cappuccino and I like to use a lot so I'm just I also put a Smashbox Studio Skin pump on it fits it doesn't fit like all the way down but it fits and it doesn't come off so if you have a Smashbox Studio Skin and you're done using it use the lid from that use the pump from that put it on there it works I promise you it works so you don't have to like buy a new lid or buy the pump because nobody wants to buy the pump if I'm buying the foundation I don't want to give you more money Maybelline I, d I doubt oh, it's $5.94 at Walmart for one fluid ounce it is a mattifying uh, it is a mattifying foundation I can attest to that it's also erases pores and it, it is for normal to oily skin oh by the way this is for the weight loss thing this is probably very unorganized I may or may not insert pictures if I don't, you can go on my Instagram. I do have some pictures from before. And I have some before and after pictures. And my Instagram name is Simply Brian, same as my YouTube name, so you shouldn't have a hard time spelling. And so another, my next tip for losing weight is tracking your macros and your calories. Like that is the most important thing. You have to be on a calorie deficit. You have to, otherwise you're not gonna lose weight. You can exercise all you want. But if you're not on a calorie deficit, you're not going to lose the weight. But yeah, if you're not on a calorie deficit, you are not going to lose the weight. And honestly, if you're on a calorie deficit, you really can eat whatever you want and you'll still lose weight. You may not look the best. You may not lose, <laughs> you may not look your best. And you may not lose the weight that you, like in places that you want to lose it. But you know, you still lose it. You may lose a lot of muscle, but you still lose it. As long as you're on the calorie deficit, you're good one thing that I use to track my nutrition and my calories is the app called lose it it is for free on the app store but it does have some in-app purchases so you know it's, it's one of them my favorite things about it is one if you put in a meal it saves it as a meal that way you can use it for other days that way you're not putting in the that way you're not constantly typing in the same foods or when you have a food that you've saved for that day, it will keep it in your mind foods. So with me, I eat a lot of the same food and usually about the same serving size too. So it's perfect for me and also eat like a lot of the same meals. For me, it's usually just chicken or fish, salmon specifically, and usually broccoli and rice if I'm lucky. Rice if I'm lucky. But I personally love these foods, so I mean, it's, I don't feel like I'm being deprived of it, you know? But yeah, I love the fact that it has a pie chart on it as well. So with your macros, your macros would be your fats, your proteins, and your carbs. For me, okay, so everyone is different. For me, I prefer my macros to be one third of the pie chart. As for me, I realize that works best for me. For some people, they work best with no carbs, which is like the keto diet, I believe. Don't take my word on that because I really don't know much about it. If anything, I prefer my protein to be the biggest, even though protein's expensive as. <laughs> and then also another thing is that it tracks your complete nutri nutrition. So it takes the nutrition from all the foods that you typed in and it adds it all together. And then it creates your own personal nutrition chart, which is awesome. And it has one for that day. And then it also has one for the, that week average 
and then it saves it so you can go throughout the weeks that you were on there and see your average throughout the weeks. Another thing that I love about it is the fact that you put in how much weight you want to lose and then you put in how much weight you want to lose in a week and it will tell you the amount of calories you need to be consuming to get there and then it will tell you when to expect to get your goal weight by. And another thing about it is that as you lose weight, it keeps you out of a plateau by changing the amount of calories that you need. So the more late weight that you lose, the less amount of calories that you need to consume and it keeps up with that. Do you need full detail of every product that I'm using? No, but you know, you're here for both. You can learn two different things, okay, okay. Killing multiple birds with one stone. Think smarter, not harder. Or work smarter, not harder, there we go. So now I'm using the Maybelline New York concealer and I'm using this to highlight and highlighting will bring back light to my face and I'm actually just putting it on my hand because like with these types of applicators I don't like the way the it's called like a doe foot it's like a ballet foot like a ballet shoe ballerina shoe I don't like using these types of applicators because when you don't get enough and two I feel like if you apply it too hard you're, you know if you, if you do something wrong it kind of smears, especially if your foundation is fresh. <laughs> I don't want those problems. And then I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just going to paint that onto my face. And that is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 medium. I am going with a, a shade that is a couple shades lighter than me, obviously. I am definitely not the skin color. Skin color. But highlighting your face brings back more light your face I e highlighting <laughs> who would have knew another thing I was gonna say so this is 0.23 ounces or yeah 0.23 ounces don't know why I couldn't have just said that and you get that amount for $5.94 at Walmart I also feel like you just get better and more even distribution by applying it to the back of your hand using a flat brush to apply it I'm just gonna let this sit a little bit and while I let that sit I'll talk to you guys about the next step we well, not step but the next part of that I felt like worked for me with weight loss and that is compromising. It's because the longer that you let the concealer sit on your face, the more pigmented it's gonna be. I mean, want that brightness because you know my under eyes are a little. I think that may be like one of the biggest things is compromising because if you restrict yourself from wanting something or from something that you want, then the more you're gonna want it and then when you finally do get it, the more or the less self-control that you're gonna have when you get it. So, you know, if you're depriving yourself of, like if you're at a party and you deprive yourself of cake, and one day you give yourself a cheat day, you're gonna go buck wild. And that's worse than allowing yourself to eat like a piece of cake or whatever. If you want a piece of cake, as long as you've been doing well for the majority of the time, eat that piece of cake. If you want the pizza, eat the pizza. Don't completely deprive yourself of things that you want. That's only gonna make you hate what you eat more and hate the entire thing and you're less likely to stick to the plan. When you're 80, you're not gonna be mad that you ate whatever you ate, that you ate an entire piece of two years old. You're actually probably gonna be happy and look back on fond memories of that moment because I know I do. Find a way that works for you to allow yourself to compromise and to eat things that you enjoy while also staying on track. So one of those things could be, for me, I don't do this actually, but it can be setting aside a small percentage of your calories to eating something that pleasures, that pleases you. So I would say like 10% of your calories. So you know, if you are on a 150 calorie diet, 1500 calorie diet, then you'd only eat 150 calories of whatever, you know, something that may not be the best choice for you. That way you're still within your calorie range, but then you're also not miserable. For me, how I try to stay on track is dark chocolate, okay? I love it. I <laughs> I honestly, like for a short period of time on my Snapchat, I had a dark chocolate series. Dark chocolate suppresses your appetite and that's kind of what helped me stay on track because I know that when I'm craving, I'm most of the time craving sweets. And just to kind of piggyback off of that, know how you eat and base your meals, plan your meals out ahead of time and base your meals on how you eat because I know I get hungry in the middle of the night and using something sweet so I sit on my calories I know I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night because I sleep 
for some time and I get hungry in between <laughs> you know and now I'm just going to blend this out hmm not going too well I think I waited too long I talk too much okay well what I learned about keeping preventing uh lap lines it's failed us so just so you know putting eyeshadow primer on your smile lines doesn't keep it from creasing I found out for you guys you're welcome now I'm gonna go in with some powder this is the Maybelline shine free loose powder and this is in medium this is $4.94 from Walmart and it is to minimize the size of pores I'm just applying that to the areas that I applied concealer to kind of set those areas and also just burn it just a teeny bit more and now my kind of like my final tip for weight loss because like I said these are all my things that I just feel like work the most for me I did kind of exercise but not really I am a dancer but we haven't really been having any shows or anything like that for me to really be working out like that one of the biggest things for when it comes to weight loss is find your reason your find your reasoning for it because whatever reasoning you're doing it first off you have to be doing it for yourself and then also if it's a reason important enough to to you then you're going to want to stay on track eat healthy eat whole foods all right so i'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup all right so as you can see this is the final look and this is also the conclusion to this video this weight loss video i hope you learned something i hope you learned things about makeup and about weight loss maybe things you never knew or maybe things you already knew you just kind of waste your time i do apologize if i wasted your time it was not my intention okay i am trying to create quality <laughs> anyways i really hope you guys i do hope you guys enjoyed it okay and if you are trying to lose weight i do wish you the best of luck on your journey okay remember that it is a journey not a race i feel like i'm talking too fast anyways i also hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day wherever you are if you are in this world in time and in life okay that being said i will see you in my next video bye and this one the claims Ooh, it's a mojito a mojito a mosquito i don't like it <laughs>